a designer's relationship with an actress or actor. How do you work with an actress? You respect them and you hope they respect you. We're both artists. We both work in certain ways. We built, she was wonderful. You find that the great actors and actresses are generous people. If Maggie threw out one of her costumes, it wasn't to do with how it looked on her. It was to do with how it related to the part she would play. There's a difference. So when an actress says to you, um, actually, this costume doesn't work for me, how do you deal with that? I have completely, if I'm given a reasonable answer where I feel they're trusting me, that I have had many years of experience, I can see them in relationship to the whole piece. If they can tell me why it doesn't work for them, not them as an actress, but them as a character, I will change it. Pat Collins will tell you I changed a dress completely because she didn't feel comfortable in the colour for that character. So how important is it to you that an actor or actress actually feels at home and owns very their Very important. Very, very important. And, and that's why the fitting time is so important. And that's why, again, it goes back to this experience. Yes, you've got to train young cutters, but don't give them principal actors, principal roles to cut. You need to encourage a confidence in everybody. doesn't make them confident if they're given um, Maggie Smith to cut for. You don't do that sort of thing. Um, you choose, you help them in the same way as an actor. You don't give them a role just because they're friends. You give them a role because they're ready for it and How they're not going to get damaged by it. Same with a designer. Right. Don't give them something that's really going to hurt them when they yes. fail. They'll fail and bruise themselves, but if they break their bones when they fail. They don't get back on the horse again. How would you bring a uh, young actor or actress along who's not used to wearing costumes uh, or, you know, they've done naturalistic theatre jeans and T-shirts? How would you help them understand what it means to wear an 18th century coat or a one 19th would, century jacket? One would hope that happened in their training. And if it hadn't? If it hadn't, then I'd talk them through it. I'd say, you know, especially with corsets, uh, they're a little bit naughty sometimes because they can be given rehearsal courses. They won't wear them. So it's no good then going into a dress and not um, and then saying, I can't wear this, I'm uncomfortable. The important thing is also to trust that the designer and cutter know what they're doing. And hopefully you have people that you can trust in those roles as a young act. But you need to be able to say, to the cutter, this is rubbing me, or I can't move if I'm a dancer. I, I can't, um, uh, I need pockets. I need, um, uh, practical things help in a fitting room. But also you have dancers, singers have to say, I can't breathe in this. 